My name is Matt Toft and I'm about to show you the menu navigation of the CX Concrete Scanner. When you start up the scanner, you uh, enter the main screen where you can select between 2D project, 3D project, object mapper project, working with files or shutting down the system. You also have the software version on the top part of the screen and your battery level uh, on the top right of the screen. Let's go into 2D projects. The first thing you're presented with is your general settings screen. There's a number of things you can change here. You have options to put in uh, different file names. Uh, you can use a project name or timestamp or use the default name. You can also select your antenna. So there's a number of different antennas that can go on the CX scanner. Uh, today we are using the 1.6 gigahertz. And you can choose between several different depth windows, deep, shallow, and medium. There's also a calibration and an option to di select different acquisitioning wheels. Uh, normally we use a little wheel that's attached to the side of the antenna, but you could put this into a larger cart system, or you could also use a, a time triggering function. Uh, here you select the point interval, so that is the distance between subsequent measurements along the profile. And if you have a predefined uh, encoder wheel, uh, you can uh, select it here. You can also calibrate and uh, manage your wheel selection there. Uh, the next menu, we can select the material type. So uh, normally for concrete investigation, we would go in and select uh, a concrete material. And you can see on the right side of the screen that you have your trace that looks healthy. Um, before we go to the next screen, I'll do the depth calibration. And that's done. Then we enter the normal acquisitioning screen. So in here, there's a number of different uh, filters you can apply. You can do some documentation with your screen dump function, and you can do migration and uh, uh, place markers in your data and so forth. The next project we have is a 3D grid project. So in a 3D grid project, instead of collecting uh, profile lines, we're collecting uh, multiple 2D lines and we're processing that into a grid file. So again, you go through your normal setups. Uh, normally, you just do your depth calibration and then go straight into acquisitioning. And here you can select the uh, size of area you want to work in and standard size is 80 by 80 centimeters with a 10 centimeter line spacing between your uh, lines but you could also go in and define your own uh, grid size and then when you move into your project you would uh, collect data along their predefined lines as you move through the project we'll go through that in detail uh, in the next video in the object mapper projects, you have the ability to collect very large scale projects. So you could collect 2D lines or a, a runway or along roads to map asphalt or even large scale uh, concrete uh, mapping projects. That requires you to post process the data uh, on a desktop PC using the object mapper processing software. In the menu work with files, you can go in and see all the data that you have collected uh, whilst the unit has been used, uh, this is automatically stored. You don't have to uh, save anything at the end of each uh, profile. Everything is automatically stored. And you can go in and recall some of your previous information, previous data. Here's the 3D project that uh, we did yesterday. That's also the menu where you'd go and um, dump your data to your USB. So just by putting a USB into the port, you'd be able to move all your data across to the USB very easily. And the last menu is uh, shutdown. Uh, where you can select to shut down the equipment. So that is the menu navigation uh, for this version of the CX Monitor software, which is 8057. Thank you for watching.